Mashinini at his former school in Soweto. Mashinini was at the forefront of the June 1976 school protests. He later died in exile. Professor Barney Vigiana delivered the keynote address. Leading the protests, it was this day that turned Tsieti Mashinini into an instant hero and an enemy of the apartheid regime. I believe that there is hardly a country in the world that can boast as much as we can in South Africa about a liberation movement that was led by young people, populated by young people, reflecting the hopes and aspirations of young people. 42 years later, and the youth of the country are still faced with mirage challenges, unemployment, lack of skills development, pregnancy and HIV and AIDS among them. The South Africa of today is woefully lacking. I'm not aware today, for example, that we have a credible youth development policy. I know that we always declare the month of June to be a youth month. But I declare that actually, I don't think on the 30th of June we've got anything to show for it. Pityana says the youth are not given the opportunity to lead. One looks out in vain for the leadership, for example, of the generation of hashtag Fees Must Fall movement. The movement that engulfed our campus, campuses in the last five years. Where are they? Where are they? They're nowhere to be seen. Some of the best young people you, we could ever have dreamt to have. The likes of Mashinini, Seth Masibuko, and Onkhupo have left big steps to follow for the current crop of youth activists. Lobang Alamu, SCBC News, Johannesburg.